Yay! It's Friday and we are back! We are starting the week by making this wool happen. So as you watch right now, we just made the template and we're about to cut the wood. If you've been watching for a while, you know what's the state of the boat and the village especially. And we are hoping to get this done in the next few weeks. There are a few bulkheads that still need work, but we're slowly getting closer to the aft of the boat. And I think we are three, yeah, three quarters in. So it's not much left. Let's get on with the show. And remember, if you enjoy our videos, please give us a like and a comment. It really helps us out. There is still no electric on our side, which means we have to run a cable through the road. You look like explorer yeah, with your road. <laughs> You seem bored. <laughs> Oppa. I'm gonna get a squish now. We were going to take this whole countertop off, but lying down here, I've just realized that there is some tubbing holding the countertop inside the cupboard. So we might cut it here somewhere because we don't want to have to redo that tab in behind the cover. So basically I would say cut along there and then we put a new countertop and maybe we could put a trim to hide the cut. We might put some fake tiles on here. No way, normal tiles on there, like a westerly. Normal tiles? The little ones, just like a westerly. Awesome. <laughs> It's held in place with this piece. If I remove this, the bulkhead's going to disappear, fall flat on its face. And I need to mark up the backing piece. I had to cut it in two to get it through the companionway. So if we get this, the bottom piece in, and mark roughly where that needs to go, then the other one should, in theory, line up. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Here we are in the new engine room. something to hold up here yeah, to hold it in place a couple of little blocks The bottom piece is in. Seems pretty flush up here. See, this is how much of a gap there was in the original. So we'll try and round that off just so there's no sharp edges. So let's see if we can just uh, fit the other piece. It might all fall over and be a horrible disaster, but let's have a look. Little gap here, uh, something of nothing, and one new bulkhead. Soon. Mm, pretty happy with that. Doesn't make the wall seem. Uh, well, and that's not even fiberglassed in yet. So, uh, yeah, let's get this done. I'm gonna put you. In here? Well, look at me. I look like a professional. I go to Dungarees from Parkside. I look like a proper trainee now. Maybe it helps me with the boat work. <laughs> Blind open optimism. <laughs> uh, obviously, we have to do these on the inside because otherwise the piece wouldn't fit back inside. <laughs> <laughs> so, we glued outside, realized we couldn't get back inside, yeah. Okay, let's go. Now it's all one piece, screwed and glued. Well, hopefully. Seems all right. Before we put the wall in place for sure, we're going to do a dry fit now that it's all glued and screwed together and see how well it fits. Yesterday we were doing some repairs here. That's the area where all this uh, through holes were that we repaired outside and we did the inside, so should be ready to put the wall in place. Just gotta mark where the 
hose is coming. Okay, so let's mark that. Yeah. Let's measure for the tabbing also now, and I can cut that whilst you do that. Yeah. This looks like it could be a go. Mm. A little bit of sanding needed along the edge. Yeah, look who it is. I can hide behind the wall now because <laughs> there is a wall. Yeah. I think it looks very good. Yeah, apart from that little gap there. But, uh, oh, I don't care about this. There's going to be a fridge in front of this. Yeah, so the fridge will sit here. The fridge will be here. And the door will open mm. like this. Yeah. And then in that corner there should be the freezer. Hopefully. We're about to mark where the pipes are going to have to run through. So we can cut it before we put the wall in place because we don't like when you put the wall on and then you have to drill a hole to, for the pipe to go through. We think it's better if you take a little Yeah, if it lays flat on the hole. Yeah, like we did here. Uh, I'll serve you, I'll serve you. Uh, here we cut it also on the edge. And there will be the pipe hole. Yeah, not the prettiest at the moment, but uh... Now we need to measure along here to see how big the pieces of fiberglass we need to cut. I'm gonna go into the cutting room. Not really a fan of cutting fiberglass. I need to cut 12 big rectangles, so let's see how long that takes. Cutting fiberglass always takes longer than you think, especially, well, I'm, I'm pretty slow cutting, but this one you have to be very careful because it comes apart very easily when you cut it, so you have to go slow. But yeah, here they are, look how big they are, woohoo! All ready with the peel ply, different sizes. I always try to wear gloves when I cut fiberglass because otherwise your hands get really itchy. Let's see how Stuart is doing. We've got a hole now and Stuart's getting the foam ready. And you can hear the heat gun because we feel it's a bit chilly the weather is turned and it's now back to winter and it's like lows of 11 11 yeah. yeah i think that should be acceptable and i'm just gonna screw it in this here yeah i'm, I'm all right with that yeah i think that's pretty good all right so i'm gonna cut some resin now and we get this glued and screwed We're gonna stick the new wall to the old wall with uh, wood fill, which is this powder that you mix with epoxy and is like a wood bonding thingy. I don't know the technical terms. Mm. 
Okay, how do Moroccans make tea? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright. Where is he? It's built all out of wood. It's fine. Try putting a screw in and seeing if that pulls it together. Yeah, it's just, it looks like. It looks to me that it's too high up. No, it it, it's okay, it's just, I think it's the actual epoxy that is holding it. Yeah. There's nothing stopping it from going in apart from the epoxy. So if you, you see? It's quite a distance. Yeah, but you see how much epoxy you put still? Yeah. It will squish out, so start screwing. You're not going to go uh, through, right? Uh, maybe. Um... Hey, you're through. Mm-hmm. How's that looking? Is it closing the gap? Uh, not really. Maybe more, yeah. I don't know. One at the top? Yeah. Same line. Alright. <laughs> Hold it in. <laughs> uh, yeah, keep going, so keep going. Oh no. Uh, push again. Just right in the corner now. Yeah, it's difficult. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's just, oh, okay. uh, just another three. Mm You can see it coming out this side. It looks like a poop. <laughs> Yep. Whee. What's up? I'm just 
And the rain came. Lovely English weather. <laughs> Now that the wall is in place, we're starting the cabin and the first step is billeting. And we're using the same stuff, wood feel. Not the most comfortable position to work in. That's right. One very awkward spot. But we have the first tabs in. Yeah, because you've got nothing to grip onto, so you have to wedge yourself up on the engine bed. Yeah, because these look, it's very slippery. Do that one again. Okay, which ring is that? Which ring is that? Which, which, which? Whee! <laughs> okay, let's have a break, please. Okay. So that's that. I think it's the first, that's got to be one of the biggest. My new working uniform is already covered in resin. <laughs> I sat on some epoxy and now the trousers are getting stuck on my leg. And I feel all sticky inside. Ugh. One side is done. And we are the next. Look at that, we've built a wall. It's a little bit fresh, so we're just making sure that it starts to cure and hopefully it all goes okay because I don't want to do this again. <laughs> it has been a long day today. We've done nine until... 20 to 8, Yeesh. with one hour break, so <laughs> a long day. <laughs> Not that bad. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. At least the wall is done. Mm -hmm. I think that's alright. Sound, <laughs> sounds better than it did, so... And it looks better than it did. Yeah, double thick, 18 mil on the back. <laughs> nice. Half inch at the front. Yeah, it seems alright. Pretty happy with it. We'll see how the epoxy cures. And yeah. yeah, we're a little bit worried because it's not. It's a bit colder now, but I think it's gonna be okay. Yeah, it drops down to about ten overnight time. Anyway, we know this week's been all about this wall, <laughs> so hopefully it wasn't too boring. We've tried to show you all the steps and how uh, a job that might seem like simple, <laughs> it ends up being quite difficult. There's a lot of things to do and it all takes time. Even cutting the fiberglass today. Oh yeah, it, it all takes, takes time but it's yeah. nothing too difficult. It's no, it's not difficult, it just takes time. Sling a piece of wood in there and fiberglass it in, hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed and as always we would like to say thank you for being there, for watching and for supporting us. Through coffee, PayPal, Patreon, all our patrons, thank you very much. <laughs> Super thanks through YouTube. Everything helps. And oh, yeah. it also helps if you give us a like and comment down there because YouTube um, likes it. <laughs> and we'll try and get back to as many comments as possible, but uh, well, there's quite a few now, so we're struggling a bit. Yeah, so but we, we apologise. But we read them all. <laughs> yeah. We try oh. to. I'm all sticky yeah. everywhere. Yeah.
Anyway, thank you so much and hopefully see you next week. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.